My name is George DiStefano and I'm Italian American and I'm a writer here in New York City. I was born in Bridgeport, Connecticut. My parents are the children of immigrants from Sicily and Campania. I was very aware from a young age of what the expectations of an Italian or an Italian-American male were. You were supposed to be maschile. And uh, although I tended to be somewhat of a quiet kid and, and I liked, I was studious, I liked books, I wasn't what people call a sissy. I wasn't uh, an effeminate child. But I was aware, I became aware at a very early age that I was attracted to males. This was kind of confusing and uh, and I learned quite early on that this was something you didn't talk about, you didn't tell anyone. Ooh, I don't like this guy. Don't worry about it. Around 1980, I was very much aware of the gay liberation movement, which was really taking off in the 70s and I was following the various political controversies going on, uh, Harvey Milk, uh, Anita Bryant, all those. I realized it was I was doing this because it was expected of me, always aware that I was different. Today is an important day for gay and lesbian uh, New Yorkers. And of course, this year now with the uh, recent Supreme Court decision striking down DOMA and uh, turning back Proposition 8, Pride is going to have, I think, a particular resonance for people. DOMA, the Defense of Marriage Act, was uh, instituted during the Clinton era and uh, basically denied any sort of federal recognition to same-sex couples. This legislation was a real barrier to equality and, uh, and of course we're all overjoyed that it was overturned. I met Robert in 1981, um, early 1981, at an anti-Reagan demonstration in Washington. And then um, several months later, uh, we met again. I came into New York City, and then that weekend we realized that our strong attraction was immediate, I guess you could say, love at first sight. And from that weekend, uh, 32 years ago, we've been together. I didn't come out to my parents and probably in the way I should have. In fact, they found out by reading about it <laughs> in a newspaper, which described me as a gay activist in New York. So my father called and said, what's this all about? Some Italian temperament came out, let's say. And uh, for a while, we didn't speak to each other. And then at Christmas that year, we had Christmas, Rob and I, with my family. My parents bought him a gift, and that was the beginning of improved relations. And uh, over 32 years, they love Robert. He's part of the family, and any issues that we had were resolved pretty early on. I think it's important to show up. I mean, it is, you know, sort of a political statement to show up to be there. I like to see so many gay people out there of all different kinds. Every year it's like so amazing to see how diverse it is. You know, I mean, there's groups from every country you can imagine. A lot of them are like in their particular native clothes and it's kind of amazing. There's this stereotype that, oh, all gay men are like white, you know, middle class. When you see the parade, you see how that's not true at all. I mean, you saw a lot of black people participating, a lot of Latinos, and now everybody is. It's like the rainbow.